Okay. I found a Steam gift card and decided to buy this. I would sincerely recommend that you don't. Based on everything I've seen, this is a not acceptable uh, port collection. It has visual issues, audio issues, frame rate issues. It has no settings for anything. Resolution, V-Sync, nada. So if I had to spend my own money on this, I wouldn't have done it. But I've been playing this series since I was eight years old. And I had to see and hear it with my own senses. So... I already have VSync enabled. They actually had to put a thing to tell you how to enable VSync in your NVIDIA or AMD manager because this game doesn't have basic setting controls that have been expected, you know, for 20 years now. We will also have to talk about the visual quality, and at some point I may skip over to uh, the Duck Station version just to show you how may be considered outdated. That's funny. There are several things in the game that are like a little, like Snake is definitely kind of misogynist at points. Oh my god. Your soul is mine. B is confirm. That's a little weird. I will say, I like the uh, Yoji Shinkawa artwork there. Oh, I've heard these are buggy. Okay, I'm not going to try that right now. Interesting. I actually, as much as I know about Metal Gear, I did know there were two different versions of VR missions. I'll have to look into what the differences are. What does that mean? Oh! Okay. Okay. I will say this is actually one of the few things I'm interested in. They basically, to make sure that Psycho Mantis works the way he always did, they let you put in like fake save data from Konami games. And as far as I can tell, that's actually the accurate icons of what it would have looked like in the memory card. So whoever had that as a job cared and did a decent little bit there. So one of the first things we're going to notice is that this is basically a 240p with a terrible bilinear upscale filter that makes everything look like it has Vaseline on it instead of doing an internal resolution increase. Which is crazy. I mean, there are ways to make your game look old and keep that internal res without turning it into a blurry mess. I don't... I mean, emulation's not a new concept, you know? It's old. And it's at a really good state right now. Oh, yeah. That's abysmal. Your weapons disposal facility on Shadow Moses Island in Alaska's Fox Archipelago was attacked and captured by next generation special. Wow, I hit the f screenshot button and it skipped that. Okay. Oh my god. Circle being confirm, or B in this case, is how Metal Gear was? Okay, I'm sorry to replay that, but I didn't mean to skip it. 
My hope was that I could grab some screenshots of the cutscenes and compare them with Duck Station screenshots later. But I'll have to figure out a different way to do that. I don't know. I'll talk more after this opening cutscene, I guess. Let it breathe a minute. Well, maybe I'll talk. Fuck it. I have, I'm going to also link some playthroughs of me playing this on Duck Station in the old PC version. In case you want to see it in higher quality without me talking. The nuclear weapons disposal facility on Shadow Moses Island in Alaska's Fox Archipelago was attacked and captured by next generation. There's so many terms I learned from this game as a child, like archipelago. I had no clue that was like a. It's sort of similar to a plateau. Government turn over the remains of Big Boss, and they say that if their demands are not met within 24 hours, they'll launch a nuclear weapon. You'll have two mission objectives. First, you're to rescue DARPA chief Donald Anderson and the president of Armstech, Kenneth Baker. Both are being held as hostages. Secondly. You're to investigate whether or not the terrorists have the ability to make a nuclear strike and stop them if they do. What's the insertion method? We'll approach the disposal facility by sub. And then we'll launch a one-man SDV. After the SDV gets as close as it can, dispose of it. From there on, you'll have to swim. Tech Special Forces Unit Foxhound, your former unit, and one that I was a commander of. So they're still around. God. Six members of Foxhound involved in this terrorist activity. Psycho Mattis, with his powerful psychic abilities. Sniper Wolf, a beautiful and deadly sharpshooter. Decoy Octopus, master of disguise. Vulcan Raven, giant and shaman. And Revolver Ocelot, specialist in interrogation and a formidable gunfighter. And finally, in charge of them, Foxhound squad leader, Liquid Snake. Liquid Snake? The man with the same code name as you. The nuclear weapons disposal facility covers the whole island. I'll instruct you by codec after you reach your target. Anyone going with me? As usual, this is a one-man infiltration mission. Weapons and equipment, OSP? Yes. This is a top secret black op. Don't expect any official support. I'm blown away. I mean, I've been playing so many PS1 games on Duck Station. And I know some people disagree, but I feel like every game I've played looks better with an internal res of 1080p or higher. I really think it helps. So seeing this game as a blurry mess again is very strange. Literally the same options menu. Crazy. Okay, I'm not going to go through all the briefings right now. Just trying to think of what else to say. Another thing I'm really going to be listening for is that apparently the game audio is seriously compromised at places. As in, it's compressed to the point where, like, when people put it in an audacity, you know, waveform chart, it's clipping like a bad CD, like a, like a bad Metallica album from the modern era, where it's like the levels are just broken. And people think it's not the audio files, it's something used to emulate them or make them run. And that's especially in 1 and 2 from what I've read. Wow, you get an achievement for pressing start. Cool. So a lot of MSG1 uses these creative effects to show like underwater, motion blur for different reasons. 
God, that looks atrocious. <laughs> it's just such a blurry mess. I'm blown away. Anytime those motion blur effects happen, it's even worse. Sixty fucking dollars. I guess this would have been twenty if you just bought it. Situation, Snake. Looks like the elevator in the back is the only way up. Just as I expected. You'll have to take the elevator to the surface. But make sure nobody sees you. If you need to, contact me by codec. The frequency is 140.85. When you want to use the codec, push the select button. When we need to contact you, the codec will beep. When you hear that noise, press the select button. The codex receiver directly stimulates the small bones of your ear. No one but you will be able to hear it. Got it. Okay, I'm ready to go. Well, what's stimulating the small bones in my ears is that there seems to also be no... There's almost like a natural echo to a lot of the dialogue in Metal Gear Solid 1. And I mean, that's the thing. Audio is an important part of the presentation of why these games helped evolve the medium. Like... Before this, voice acting really was like, you know, it makes me like Resident Evil 1 or something. Like, don't open that door. Hope this is not Chris's blood. So, I mean, this was such, that's why people hold this to such a high standard. It really did take shit to the next level. Time to knock to get him over here. The knock sounded wrong. Huh. Oh, I didn't mean to pull him. Oh well. I just... You know, I've disliked Konami pretty intensely since Silent Hill HD Collection. That was right around the time I stopped console gaming because I was getting so many 360 red rings and they were just releasing shovelware like that. And I just decided to kind of, like, move away from it. And I will say, bad port jobs might not be as bad as literally ruining audio and visuals and adding all these crazy glitches to, like, that degree as Silent Hill HD Collection. Like, they should care more. This franchise is important to history and to a lot of people. I mean, I always say, like, I don't like anime. Metal Gear Solid is the one anime I love. It means a lot to me. Look at that. I almost want to fiddle with Duck Station because I'm pretty sure I can make the original look better than this while keeping the resolution low. It really, like, the whatever bilinear scale they added is terrible. It feels like I'm playing a bootleg, not an official release, you know? And I mean, to me, if I was making this and I had the, the money and the technology, I would say, hey, we're going to have classic graphics mode and then we're going to have like looks good in 1080p or 4K mode. And you can pick. That way you can have an original blurry experience, pixel goodness, or you can have the experience that people have had on emulators for fucking 10 years. And I'm going to be sad that some people experience this masterwork in this lesser form, you know? When they have better options.
God. I'm also so used to playing with PXGP, which is a PlayStation emulator thing that fills out some of the holes and the jank in PS1 graphics where they warp and bend and you can see seams. It's like seeing a snake with holes in his face suddenly, randomly. Ugh. Oh. Look at that. <laughs> Colonel, I can't see anything. It's all fucking blurry. It's Snake. I'm in front of the disposal facility. Excellent, Snake. Age hasn't slowed you down one bit. How's that sneaking suit working out? I'm nice and dry, but it's a little hard to move. Bear with it. It's designed to prevent hypothermia. This is Alaska, you know. Take it easy. I'm grateful. If it weren't for your suit and your shot, I would have turned into a popsicle out there. An anti-freezing peptide snake. All of the genome soldiers in this exercise are using it. I see. I'm relieved to hear that. Already tested, huh? By the way, how's the diversionary operation going? Two F-16s just took off from Galena and are headed your way. The terrorist radar should have already picked them up. Behind D. Colonel. What's a Russian gunship doing here? I have no idea. But it looks like our little diversion got their attention. Now's your best chance to slip in unnoticed. There are only 18 hours left until their deadline. You've got to hurry. Wow, you must be crazy to fly behind in this kind of weather. Who's that? Oh, sorry. I haven't introduced you two yet. This is Mei Ling. She was assigned to us as our visual and data processing specialist. She designed your codec, as well as your Soliton radar system. Contact her if you have any questions about either of them. <laughs> nice to meet you, Snake. It's an honor to speak to a, a living legend like yourself. What's wrong? Nothing. I just didn't expect a world-class designer of military technology to be so... cute. <laughs> You're just flattering me. No, I'm serious. Well, I know I won't be bored for the next 18 hours. Come on. I can't believe I'm being hit on by the famous Solid Snake. But, uh, I'm surprised. You're very frank for a train killer. Looks like we both have a lot to learn about each other. Yeah, I'm looking forward to learning about the man behind the legend. But first, let me explain about your Soliton radar system. The bright dot in the middle is you, Snake. The red dots are your enemies, and the blue cone shape represents their field of vision. Be careful, Snake. The genome soldiers have highly developed senses of hearing and vision due to their gene therapy. Make sure you don't let them see you. First, I want you to infiltrate the disposal site and look for the DARPA chief. The DARPA chief was injected with the same GPS transmitting nanomachines as you. He should appear on your radar as a green dot. Get whatever information you can from him about the terrorists. If he's alive, that is. Snake, your radar isn't affected by the weather, but if you're discovered by an enemy, you won't be able to use it. Yes, it gets jammed easily, I'm afraid. Yes, it's all made from currently existing technology. You won't be able to use it in an area with strong harmonic resonance, so be careful. We'll be monitoring your movements by radar, so contact us by codec anytime you want. Got it. I'll call if I'm feeling lonely. Seriously, Snake, we're here to back you up, so call if you need some information or advice. I'm also in charge of your mission data. Contact me if you want me to record your current status. My frequency is 140.96. It's a dedicated frequency for saving data. Don't forget it. Remember, except for your binoculars, you're naked. 
You need to arm yourself with whatever weapons you can find. I remember. First, I'm strip-searched by Dr. Naomi here, and then all my weapons are taken away. Imagine yourself put in that position. Well, if you make it back in one piece, maybe I'll let you do a strip-search on me. I'll hold you to that, Doctor. By the way, sorry to disappoint you, but I did manage to smuggle out my smokes. How did you do that? In my stomach. Thanks to the shot you gave me that suppressed my stomach acids. Cigarettes? How are those going to help you? You never know. I, I, did he really swallow his cigarettes and puke them out and those are the ones you smoke? I always wondered. I mean, he says he ate them, in, right? There's the front door. It's the fastest way, but there's too much risk of being spotted by the enemy. I can't just knock on the door and ask them to let me in. Uh, there's one sentry on the left and one on the right. They're armed with five five sixers and pineapples. What about the air duct near the door? There should also be a duct on the second floor. I can't see it from here. I'll let you decide the best COA. I'm counting on you, Snake. You know, I also want to say, a lot of the discourse around this game has been extra stupid. The number of people I've seen defending this Surveillance camera? by just going, well, we just want it easy access to these old games, and I don't know how to do an emulator, and... You know, it's like, just stop. Just stop that crap. Konami is a huge company worth a ton of money. They are not some small, newfangled thing. They've released good ports of games before. And, you know, bad ones as well. But, I mean, it's okay to have standards. Basic standards for a port job, like resolution, vsync. You know, the most, the, the, the starting bin basics were screwed up here. And I'll tell you another thing. I'm pretty certain they released footage of that Metal Gear Solid 3 remake today to help cover up the iffy press about this, which is just, you know, that's a little subtle thing, but pretty lame. Okay, another thing I've heard, and I'll have to test when I'm outside of this bin, is that a cent... Uh, I'll talk after Miller. Snake, this is McDonald Miller. It's been a long time. Master, what are you doing here? I quit being a drill instructor, so I moved out here for some peace and quiet. I'm in retirement, just like you. Once in a while, I still help train the Alaskan scouts. Passing on the skills to a new generation, huh? <laughs> Campbell told me about the situation here. I thought I might be of some use. There's no one I'd rather have in a foxhole than you. Well, I know lots about survival in a harsh environment. I've lived in Alaska longer than you. So call me if you have any questions about the flora or fauna out here. My frequency is 141.80. So another thing I've read is that essentially there's not actual analog full circle control. It's essentially the D-pad mapped to the analog stick. So I'll have to see if the movement seems funky. Based on how it controls in this vent, I believe it's probably a real thing people have noticed. I moved the dark machine to the cell in the first floor basement. What about the vent shaft cleaning? They just opened the vent covers. They're about to start spraying for rats. First floor basement ventilation shaft. Shut those covers as soon as they're done spraying. Also, keep your eye on that woman in the cell. Don't get careless now. Woman in the cell? So, I mean, I've got my headphones turned really high up. I feel like I've noticed some clipping. Mainly when Campbell's talking, certain sound effects, like the little psh when the codec switches to another portrait and another person starts talking. A couple things like that.
I'm curious how this will look when modders turn off this terrible bilinear filter. Alright, I'm already maxed out on rations. Ugh, that's just hideous. Use the elevator to change floors. There should be a cargo elevator that you can take down somewhere around there. Try to find it. Oh yeah, I just heard some weird clipping in the middle of Campbell's audio there. God damn it. So yeah, I mean just I don't know. I don't I do not care for the discourse of like, oh whatever, you know, if we don't buy this then they won't make more Metal Gear stuff or you know, have basic standards. Expect those standards to be met. I mean, you know, just a couple months ago, Night Dive did a complete overhaul of Quake 2. We got a copy for free if you already owned it, and it was 20 bucks if you didn't. And they changed every model, graphic, lighting engine. They really souped it up. I mean, hard work. Oh my god, I can't believe I got saw by the camera. That's the first time I've had that happen in quite a while. Damn, I can't believe I fucked that up. Okay, visit the diaper chief. Chief, he's the green dot. Hurry and rescue him. Also, I mean, I'll talk about other stuff too, like the achievements list, like, it seems very bare bones. The retro achievements list for this game is very complicated. Lots of tough ones. Oh, God, it damn cold. I hate Alaska. Boy, oh boy, that woman is built all right. Johnny. I probably already have max soak on ammo. Nope. I do not. Chief Donald Anderson, right? You here to save me, huh? What's your outfit? I'm the pawn they sent here to save your worthless butt. Really? It's true. You don't look like one of them. In that case, hurry up and get me out of here. Slow down. Don't worry. First, I want some information about the terrorists. The terrorists? Do they really have the ability to launch a nuke? What are you talking about? The terrorists are threatening the White House. They say if they don't accede to their demands, they'll launch a nuclear weapon. Sweet Jesus. Is it possible? It's possible. They could launch a nuke. How did they plan to launch? I thought 
thought this place was just for keeping the dismantled warheads. They shouldn't have access to a missile. What I'm about to tell you is classified information. Okay. We're conducting exercises with a new type of experimental... So, the cutscene audio has the echo that the codec also should have to a degree? ...the ability to launch a nuclear attack from any place on the face of the Earth. A nuclear-equipped walking battle tank. Metal Gear. Metal Gear. It can't be. You knew? Metal Gear is one of the most secret black projects. How did you know that? We've had a couple of run-ins in the past. So that's the reason you were here at this disposal site? Why else would I come to a godforsaken place like this? I had heard the Metal Gear project was scrapped. On the contrary. It's grown into a huge joint project between Arms Tech and ourselves. We were going to use this exercise as raw data and then proceed to mass production. If it hadn't been for the revolution... Revolution? Rex has fallen into the hands of terrorists. Rex? Metal Gear Rex. The code name for the new Metal Gear prototype. They've probably already finished arming the warheads they plan to use with Rex. These guys are pros. They're all experienced in handling and equipping weapons. Hey! Shut up in there, will ya? But I thought that all nuclear warheads were equipped with safety measures. Some kind of detonation code that you have to input. Oh, you mean PAL. Yes, of course, there is a PAL. It's set up so that you need to input two different passwords in order to launch the device. There are two passwords? Yes. Baker knows one, and I know one. Baker? The president of arms tech. That's right. Each of us needs to input our password, or there can be no launch. But... They found out my password. You talked? Psychomantis can read people's minds. You can't resist. Psychomantis? Oh. One of the members of Foxhound. He has psychic powers. This is bad. Yep. Sometimes when the audio level rises, I hear popping or compression artifacts. If they find out Baker's password... Yes. They'll be able to launch a nuke anytime. But there is a way to stop the launch. What? The card keys. Card keys? They were designed by Armstead, the system developers, as an emergency override. Even without the passwords, you can just insert the card keys and engage the safety lock. And if I do that? Yes. You can stop the launch. That card key? So where are the keys? Baker should have them. Listen, you need three card keys. There are three different slots to put them in. You need to insert a card into each one of them. Okay, three card keys. Do you know where they might be keeping Baker? Somewhere in the second floor basement. Second floor basement? I heard the guards say they moved him to an area that has a lot of electronic jamming. Any other clues? Yes. They cemented over the entrances, but didn't have enough time to paint them. Why don't you look for the areas where the walls are a different color? Here, take this. It's my ID card. It'll open any level one security door. It's called a pan card. It works together with your body's own electrical field. Personal area network, huh? It transmits data using the salts in your body as the transmission medium. As you approach the door's security devices, they'll read the data stored in the card. And the doors will open automatically. Gotcha. Okay, I'm gonna get you out of here. Wait a minute. What is it? 
You haven't heard any other way to disarm the pal, have you? From your bosses or anyone? No. Are you sure you haven't heard anything? I just said no. So does the White House plan to give in to the terrorist demands? That's their problem. It has nothing to do with my orders. But what about the Pentagon? Pentagon? What is it? Oh my god, anytime it gets blurry, it really is just beyond unacceptable looking. Chief, what happened? I... I don't know. It looked like a heart attack, but... A heart attack? No. Colonel, are you hiding something from me? Absolutely not. Snake, you've got to understand. This op is security level red. You need the highest security clearance to get access to the complete file. You want me to believe that you're in charge of this op, but you don't have complete access to the file? I told you. The Secretary of Defense is in operational control. I'm just here as your support. Snake, we don't have time to debate. Get out of there and find President Baker. Yep, when sounds get above a certain volume level, I hear that clipping way more. That sounds not right. Whoa. That's the first time I've opened the codec on my own. Okay. I know I'm not crazy. That sounds wrong. That's not correct. You say the DARPA chief is dead? Yeah. According to Naomi, it was a heart attack. <laughs> be. Well... It looks like all you can do now is find Kenneth Baker, the president of Arms Tech. He's in the second floor basement, isn't he? Yeah, on the other side of that wall that was cemented over. Okay. Good luck, Snake. You can do it. <sighs> I knew the sounds are funky in places. That's the one that's jumped out to me the hardest. And you know, I also I keep seeing people saying, like, well, it's a PS1 game. What do you expect? It's like. You know, if you were playing this on an original CRT, it would not look this funky. We live in a different time. There are ways to do this and keep it looking like a PS1 game without this terrible filter. Hi, Meryl. Don't move! So you killed the chief, you bastard! Liquid? No, you're not. Don't move! Is this the first time you ever pointed a gun at a person? Your hands are shaking. <sighs> Can you shoot me, rookie? Careful, I'm no rookie. Liar. That nervous glance, that scared look in your eyes. They're rookies' eyes if I ever saw them. You've never shot a person, am I right? You talk too much. You haven't even taken the safety off, rookie. I told you I'm no rookie! You're not one of them, are you? Open that door. You've got a card, don't you? Why? So we can get the hell out of here. Looks like we'll be a little delayed. What are you doing? Don't think! Shoot! Oh, that clip too! The alert noise? Whoa!
Oh my god! I haven't died to that in years! Damn! Okay, I'll skip the cutscene. I can't believe I ate a death there. I guess I normally run forward a couple steps. I don't know, I'm just processing. The discourse around this game has definitely annoyed me. Like, people are way too forgiving. Don't have opinions, consume product, and be excited for next product. Damn, I wonder if this is running at 25. I had heard some reports that it seems to be the PAL version or acting like it. 25 frames. I'm telling you, shoot! Because it says 60 up there, but that's a lie. This game was always capped to 30. time. I just had some kind of hallucination. Is it from the nanomachines? No, Snake. The nanomachines are functioning properly. So what was it? It must have been psychometric interference coming from Psychomantis, Foxhound Psychic. Think of it as a mental feedback loop. So that was Mantis. Okay, two rations. Cool. That makes my fucking eyes hurt. <laughs> like, looking at this is how I feel like the world looks when I take my glasses off. That's not a good feeling. Okay, so my standard strategy here is that I always blow open this left door. because I'll be full now, but later on when I come back, getting extra chaff and stuns is very handy. Both of those are needed later. Also, normally when I play this, I do a lot of, like, all the codec calls and try to get all the unique ones, and, but I'm just going to kind of go through it as quickly as possible for once. 
Like if you call, they'll tell you to knock on that. And that'll help you find it. God, you can barely tell the difference. This quality. I hear clipping on that C4 place and explosion as well. Yep. Oof. Ugh. So because of that, I mentioned it earlier, but the PXGP, the thing that people use to smooth out holes in PS1 graphics, sometimes if I'm at the right spot, it looks like he's got a scary hole for an eye. Ugh. Okay, let's do Ocelot, and then I'm going to let the cutscene after Ocelot play, but I might turn my mic off and take a stretch. Am I too late? He's alive. You're the arms tech president, Kenneth Baker, right? Don't worry, I'm here to save you. No, no, don't touch it! C4. Right. Touch that wire, and the C4 will blow up along with the old man. So you're the one that the boss keeps talking about. You. Special Operations Foxhound. Revolver Ocelot. I've been waiting for you, Solid Snake. Now we'll see if the man can live up to the legend. This is the greatest handgun ever made. The Colt Single Action Army. Six bullets, more than enough to kill anything that moves. Now I'll show you why they call me Revolver. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. I love to be loving turning about. There's nothing like the feeling of slamming a long silver bullet into a well raised chamber. Alright. I'm alive. I'll never get over how <laughs> thirsty that Ozla quote about the chamber and the is. It's so strange. Rating pretty hard here. Better hurry up. Don't you... Yeah, it always takes me a minute to get the rhythm. But... Pretty good. Just what I'd expect from the man with the same code as the boss. It's been a long time since I had such a good fight, but I'm just getting warmed up. What? My hand! Thank 
exoskeleton. Can you talk? Who are you? I'm not one of them. The DARPA chief told me he gave them his detonation code. What about yours? Oh, I get it. Jim sent you. You're, you're from the Pentagon. Answer my question. What about your code? There's no time. I... talked. What? Now the terrorists have both codes and can launch any time. It's not like I didn't fight. I managed to resist Psycho Mantis's mind probe. He couldn't read you? How'd you do it? Surgical implants in my brain. Surgical implants? Kind of like a psychic insulation. Everyone who knows these top secret codes has it. Even the DARPA chief? Of course. But the DARPA chief said Mantis got his code by reading his mind. Are you sure you heard him right? Yeah, I'm sure. In that case, how did they get your code? I never had any training on how to resist torture. <coughs> it looks like he had some fun with you, all right. Oh, he's not human. I tell you, he loved every second of it. What happened to your arm? He broke it. Looks like you're more than even now. His was sliced off. Ha, huh. you're a funny man. So the DARPA chief, is he okay? Dead. What? I can't be. You know, that's not what you promised, Jim. Now you want to shut me up? Oh. Calm down. What's wrong with you? I just told you I was here to save you. Uh, I didn't kill the DARPA chief. He had a heart attack or something. A heart attack? Oh, don't be a fool. Anyway, the terrorists have both codes now. Those boys are totally insane. They wouldn't hesitate to launch. I agree. But what do they really want? Oh, who knows? Maybe they're like us in the arms industry, always looking forward to the next good war. Well, I'm not gonna let these maniacs start a war today. Do you still have the card keys? Card keys? To override the detonation code. I heard you had them. No, not anymore. What? Who does then? Not the terrorists? No, that woman. Woman? Who? A soldier that was thrown in prison along with me. Female soldier, it must be. She said she had just joined up as a new recruit. They threw her in prison because she refused to take part in the rebellion. A new recruit? Could that be the Colonel's niece? I gave her the key. Looks like she managed to break out of here, though. I hope she's okay. I'm sure she is. She's green, but as tough as they come. But how did you know she escaped? I was in contact with her by codec. Until I was tied up here, that is. Codec. Yes, she stole it from the guard. If she still has it, you should be able to contact her. I'm sure she still has it. What frequency was she at? Oh, yeah. Uh, let me tell you, it's... Oh, sorry. I forgot. Damn! Oh, that's right. It should be on the back of the CD case. Try to contact her. I'll contact her right away. But tell me, if this doesn't work, is there some other way to prevent the missile launch? You need to find Hal Emmerich, one of my employees. Who's that? The team leader of the Metal Gear Rex project. A genius at engineering, but a little bit of an oddball. If there's anyone who can figure out how to stop Metal Gear from launching, it's him. What if he can't come up with anything? You'll have to destroy it. Emmerich knows how to destroy Metal Gear. Where is this Emmerich? Well, he's probably being held somewhere in the nuclear warhead storage building. It's north from here. That's where he worked. I understand, but why Metal Gear? The nuclear age ended with the turn of the millennium. Oh, you're wrong. The threat of nuclear war isn't gone. In fact, it's greater than it's ever been. The amount of spent nuclear fuel and plutonium is increasing even today. Listen. Have you ever seen a warehouse full of nuclear material? No. Drums and drums of nuclear waste stacked this high, as far as you can see. 
because there's still no real way to dispose of the stuff. So they just close the lid and try to pretend like it'll go away? Uh, essentially, yes. And they're not even doing a good job of storing it. Many of the drums are corroded, with nuclear waste seeping out of them. Unbelievable. Not only that, but several pounds of muff are reported every year. Muff? It stands for material unaccounted for. It proves that there's a large and well-organized black market in nuclear materials. Furthermore, since the end of the Cold War, Russian nuclear engineers in particular are out of work with no way to turn. In other words, there's plenty of available nuclear material and scientists for making a bomb. We live in an age when any small country can have a nuclear weapons program. What about the other superpowers? Uh, Russia and China still maintain a significant nuclear presence. Complete nuclear disarmament is an impossibility. To maintain our own policy of deterrence, we need a weapon of overwhelming power. You mean Metal Gear. Yes. You know our industry suffered quite a blow as a result of the cuts in military budgets due to this so-called peace. I remember hearing a lot about mergers and takeovers among the big weapons makers. Yes. And after my company lost their bid to produce the Air Force's next line of fighter jet, the Metal Gear system was our last ace in the hole. That's why we pushed to have Metal Gear developed as a black project. Black project? Secret projects paid for by the Pentagon's black budget. You can avoid a lot of red tape and get a great lead time on your weapons production. And no one can bother you. Not even those bleeding heart liberals on the military oversight committee. Bribes. I prefer to think of it as good business. Anyway, Metal Gear was going to be formally adopted after the results of this exercise were analyzed. I don't give a crap about you and your company. Yes, that's about what I'd expect of a grunt like you. Here, th this is what you came for, right? What's that? An optical disc. It's all here. The main hard drive was destroyed by gunfire. This is the only remaining copy of the data. What kind of data? All the data collected from this exercise. Don't play dumb. I know you were sent to get this. I hid it from that sadistic maniac while he was torturing me. They don't know this disc exists. Make sure you report this to Jim. To your boss. I'll give you my card, too. It'll open up all security level two doors. Can you walk? No. No, you go on without me. They got my password. They don't want anything else from me. I have one more question. Who or what was that ninja thing? It looked like you knew something. That ninja? That was Foxhound's dark little secret. Dark little secret? An experimental genome soldier. You know him? You should ask Dr. Naomi Hunter from Foxhound. She knows better than I. Naomi? You've got to stop them. If it goes public, my company and I are, are finished. What? Doesn't Metal Gear use currently existing technology? Metal Gear itself does, but... I always liked that. I always thought, like... The currently existing technology question is so bad it makes him die. Can't be. Those Pentagon bastards. So they, they actually went in, did it. What are you talking about? They, they, they are just using you for. Now he's dead, too. I have no idea. Don't lie to me. It looked like another heart attack, but... Some kind of poison? Well, there are lots of drugs that can cause a heart attack in large doses. For example, potassium chloride or dioxides, but we won't be able to tell without doing an autopsy. Damn! Snake, I want you and Meryl to work together. Can I trust her? More than you can trust me. Get in contact with her. Snake, there's a lot of electrical interference coming from there. 
It should be okay if you do burst transmission like us, but normal transmission is probably impossible. Try moving away from that area. Snake, get a hold of yourself. Naomi, what the hell was that ninja thing? A member of Foxhound? No. Are you sure? Yes, we have no one like that in our unit. Is that right? Snake, I'm counting on you. So, I'll, I'll talk more about this. I want to do a playthrough on an emulator that looks good and talk about stuff I like and don't like. He straight up says, you need to ask Naomi Hunter about the ninja, and Snake just lets her, like, hand wave it off. It's like, no, he should have been like, no, this guy literally just told me you know about him. What's the deal? And I guess, I mean, there's a lot going on, so it makes sense he kind of let it go. It's a minor complaint. Sorry, let me finish rolling this just a second. I need it to get to this blurry mess. Okay, pick up my controller. Let's go. My life's full, that's good. Pick up the bullets. Damn, I was hoping that C4 would respond. I don't remember exactly how long the timer is on normal. Okay, I have more eye space for these now, so I'm gonna pick them up. Oh, fuck. He goes left, right? Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, go back to B1, call Meryl. Um, how do they handle not having a box? Is it in this thing? Ah, there it is. 140.15. At least that's high resolution. Even those menu sounds, that sounds like it's compressed or weird. Oh, that's not right. I've been hearing that sound since I was an eight-year-old child. That is not correct. That is not the codex scroll noise. It's bugged out. Or compressed. Oh my god. Whew. Fuck Konami. What the hell? Who are you? I was really impressed with the way you busted yourself out of there. The one from the prison? You're the colonel's niece, Meryl, right? No, it's not him. Just exactly who are you? I'm the fool that your uncle sent all alone into the middle of this whole mess. You came by yourself? You think you're some kind of one-man army? I don't need lectures. You're just like your uncle, you know? How do you know my uncle? We go way back. <coughs> What's your name? My name's not important. Aha. Uh -huh. Could you be Snake? Are you Solid Snake? That's what some people call me. The legendary Solid Snake? You? Sorry about before. I wasn't sure if you were one of the good guys. But I knew you were. How? 
It's your eyes. My eyes? They're not soldiers' eyes. And they're rookies' eyes, right? No, they're beautiful, compassionate eyes. How oh, just what I'd expect from the legendary Solid Snake. You trying to sweep me off my feet? Don't worry, you'll land back on them once you meet me. The reality is no match for the legend, I'm afraid. Oh, I don't believe that. Why did you look so surprised when you saw my face? Because you look just like him. You mean the terrorist leader, Liquid Snake? Yeah, you know him? You're not brothers, are you? I have no family. So what's the deal then? Who knows? Why don't you ask him? But first I want some information. You were involved in this exercise from the beginning. What exactly happened here? I'm sorry. I was captured along with President Baker right after the terrorist attack. That's okay. But what is this place? I don't think it's just a nuclear weapons disposal facility. Boy, oh boy, it's just like them. Nobody told you anything, did they? Okay. You see, this place isn't really for disposing nuclear weapons. This base is owned and operated by a dummy corporation of arms tech. This is a civilian base? Right. For the development of Metal Gear. Colonel. Foxhound and the Next Generation Special Forces were called here for the test launching of a dummy nuclear warhead. Why Foxhound? Because they're a special ops group used to handling top secret missions. They figured they could help keep it all hush hush. I hear a lot of clipping in her voice. Nuclear warheads before. Why just this time? I heard it was because this was to be a final test before the formal adoption of the Metal Gear program. Well, that's what I heard anyway. Uh, sounds kind of fishy. So what do you think the terrorists want? Mm, sorry, I'm not sure. I was captured with President Baker right after the revolt started. Oh yeah, that's when he gave you the detonation code override keys, right? That's right. Amazing you were able to keep him hidden from the guards. Well, women have more hiding places than men. Anyway, you met Baker, huh? How's he holding up? He's dead. What? Heart attack. Same as the DARPA chief. The chief died from a heart attack too? Yeah. Was either of them sick or anything? No, not that I heard of. Well, I don't believe in coincidences. Something funny's going on. Hmm, sounds like it. But I have no idea what. Ugh. Either. Yet. The clipping. Do you know the person who designed Metal Gear? You mean Dr. Emmerich? Yes. Is he still alive? Probably. He should be in the research lab in the second floor basement of the nuclear warhead storage building to the north. Second floor basement? Yeah, that's where his lab is. I think they're forcing him to work on the nuclear launching program. So they'll need him alive until that's done anyway. Then we better do something before he finishes. You're right. In case we can't override the detonation code in time, I need to ask him how to destroy Metal Gear. You plan to take that thing on by yourself, Snake? It won't be the first time. Ah. Oh. What's the best way to get to the building where the doctor is being held? There's a cargo door on the first floor of this building that leads to the north. What's the security level of the door there? Five. But it's okay. I've got a level five card. Well, I've got to go save the doctor. You should go. I'm going with you. No way. You're still too green. I want you to hide somewhere. I'm not green. Oh, yes, you are. You pause for just one second in front of your enemy and it's all over. Good luck doesn't last forever. I don't know what happened. I just couldn't pull the trigger right away. I never had any problems in training. But when I thought about my bullets tearing through those soldiers' bodies, I, I hesitated. Shooting at targets and shooting at living, breathing people are different. Ever since I was a little girl, I always dreamed about being a soldier. Every day of my life, I've trained my mind and body for the one day when I could finally see some real action. And now... So what now? You want to quit? I can't quit. I can't allow myself to quit now. Listen, Meryl. Everybody feels sick the first time they kill someone. Unfortunately, killing is one of those things that gets easier the more you do it. In a war, all of mankind's worst emotions, worst traits come out. It's easy to forget what a sin is in the middle of a battlefield. But this isn't a war. It's a terrorist action. You're just a little jumpy from the combat high. The adrenaline in your bloodstream is starting to thin out. Just take it easy. But I learned all about combat high at the academy. We'll talk about it later. For now, just think about keeping yourself alive.
If I get out of here alive, I'll think about that other stuff. Okay. Let me try to say this another way. Stay the hell out of my way. <laughs> You're a real bastard. Just like my uncle said. Huh. I told you. The real me is no match for the legend. <laughs> it looks like you were right. <laughs> okay, Snake. I'll be a good girl. We'll link up after I grab the doctor. Then we'll take care of the doctor <coughs> code override. Gotcha. But listen, I know this area better than you. Call me if you have any questions. Be careful, okay? After I open up the cargo door, I'll contact you. Yeah, I definitely notice more popping in Meryl's voice, probably because it's a higher tone register, so it hits that clipping wall easier. Oh, this is just depressing. <laughs> Snake, I unlocked the cargo door for you. Thanks. Where are you? Where I can see ya. Don't move around too much. Don't worry, I'm disguised in this enemy uniform. You won't be for long with the way you walk. What does that mean? Uh, nothing. Listen, Snake, the cargo door is like an airlock. It's equipped with infrared sensors. Be careful. If an intruder is sensed, gas is released. Gas? Okay, so we'll meet at the nuclear warhead storage building. Wait, you said you'd stay put and be a good girl. I changed my mind. Don't get careless. That's when things always turn sour. Sorry, but this is the only way I can figure out whether or not I'm cut out to be a soldier. I gotta get my hands dirty. These guys are professionals. You're gonna get yourself killed. See you there. Okay. Assuming this will be a full game run, I'm going to go grab the mine detector. I often forget it, and then I get screwed on the rat later. Oh. The codex sounds being wrong. A cardboard box? Yeah. Remember that trick? That's the snake I remember. Those poor fools won't know what hit them. A cardboard box, huh? Just like Zanzibar. It saved my skin more than a few times in Outer Heaven, too. Getting the maximum use out of ordinary on-hand objects is the first principle of survival. It's especially important in covert operations. I haven't forgotten what you taught me. I wonder how Miller... No, well... I wonder how not actually Miller knows about that. I've never really thought it out, I guess. Okay, then I just need to get the SOCOM suppressor from the right room on the bottom, and I'm all set. I don't remember how long it takes him to fall asleep. So I think I'm just going to kill him. Be careful, Snake. 
that airlock is set with infrared sensors. You probably can't see them with your naked eyes, but there are infrared beams coming out of that wall. Touch any one of them, and the doors will seal off, and the place will be flooded with poison gas. Somehow, you've got to get through without setting off those sensors. Okay, the person who said that they did fuck up the analog by making it a D-pad mapping is correct. It's, it's a little funky, damn. scandal? Never mind about that. You're not using burst transmission. Are you nearby? Listen, there's a tank in front of your position waiting to ambush you. Who are you anyway? One of your fans. Colonel, I got a codec call from someone outside this operation. I know. We were monitoring the call. Mei Ling knows everything about the communication system, so let me have her explain it to you. Well, if somebody knows your frequency, they can call you. But the question is, how did he learn it? It's top secret information. So you mean someone leaked the information? That's the only explanation I can think of. Mei Ling, do you know where that transmission originated from? I'm sorry. The radio waves were too weak to locate their source. But I'm sure he's near you, somewhere on the base. Snake. You'll have to go through the minefield to advance. It's weird. Sometimes when... It's usually when a new line of dialogue starts, I almost hear like a click noise that I don't think I'm hallucinating. Master, does the name Deep Throat mean anything to you? Yes, it's a good Deep movie. Deep Throat? What? You mean the guy from Watergate? No, but he uses the same name. Whoever he is, he's not part of our operation, but he's been giving me advice by codec. What? On top of that, he wasn't using burst transmission. It seems he was transmitting from somewhere on this base. Somewhere on the base? Yes. I have no idea who that could be. I see. That weirds fake Miller out because of the deal, his real deal. That's why he gets a little defensive there. He's also on the base. Okay, so I'm thinking I'm going to stop this after Cyborg Ninja, and I'll try to do more, but... I mean, it's just a worse version of what you can do on an emulator with sound issues that are... You know, most people aren't going to notice, but... I hear... I'm hearing things that are wrong all over the place. Yeah, there's like a clicking and a popping and a compression to most things that is not acceptable. This is Raven's territory. Snakes don't belong in Alaska.
The one thing I'm looking forward to is seeing how people who've never played this game deal with some of these things. Because, like, once you've played it a bunch, you just know all the right strats, right? Like, you and you can call and usually get strats from your help, which is nice. I mean, the codec is... that was why it was so interesting. Damn it. Oh my god, I hate when the fucking tank does that. Damn it. Oh my god, I haven't fucked this fight up in a long time. Eh, one of my playthroughs I definitely died during it. Alright, that should get him. Asshole. God, my snake's head is like three pixels. One well, I minute mean, just also makes me wonder. It's like people are going to experience this for the first time, and it sucks that they don't at least have like a clean 1080p resolution version of this for them, so they can go like, okay, I see it's old, but <laughs> it's been improved. I mean, that's the thing. This annoys me because I love this series. Yeah, these, especially these original, you know, two or three, really mean a lot to me. Well, folks, I hope you are happy. We got the card. We'll play with him a little longer. You would be wise not to underestimate him. What did you think of him? He is just as you said. In battle. He is as if possessed by a demon, much like you. I would expect no less. See? I told you so, but I will kill him. So, General Ivan, I hear he took your hand as well as your dignity. Watch your tongue, shaman. In the language of the Sioux people, Sioux means snake. It is known as an animal to be feared. Well, snake is mine now. I meet him next, I'll take special care of him. Not yet. Don't kill him yet. He and I will meet again in battle. Same prediction as always? Yes, the raven on my head. It thirsts for his blood. Uh, I'm also seeing some stuff that apparently this was subcontracted out to some other company. <coughs> but I mean, that's not an excuse either. It's kind of like Rockstar with the Grand Theft Auto Definitive Edition and Grove Street Games. They ultimately chose to hire a shovelware cell phone company that had already botched ports for them to botch more ports for them. They have multiple, you know, facets of their company that could have picked that work up. not use weapons in that area. I've already programmed the nanomachine so that he won't be able to, Colonel. What? What are you talking about? Have you forgotten? That's where they keep the nuclear warheads. Don't you see them? Yeah, there's lots of boxes piled up here, but are they all warheads? Yes, they're all dismantled warheads. They just leave them here? It's like President Baker said, totally careless. They're working on a limited budget. They try to put on a pretty face for the media, but this is the grim reality of it. Nastasha knows lots more about it than I do. Her frequency is 141.52. All of the warheads in those boxes have had their detonation mechanisms removed, so there's no fear of them exploding. But if the warheads are broken, they might leak plutonium, and that would be a serious problem. Snake, never use your weapon on that floor. You know, another funny thing is, the idea that after these questionable ports, that they're gonna fucking port Metal Gear Solid 4. It's very hard to port purely PS3 games from everything I've ever read. You know, there's no other version of that game to pull from as a basis. They're gonna totally fucking bork it. 
if they, I bet they, they won't even release it. They'll take that out and say we couldn't do it or whatever. Colonel, all we see is Vaseline smeared across the screen. If you hit it twice, it opens automatically. If you're in a hurry. Um, let's just go ahead and grab the Nikita. I want to get this going. It's already hella late. I need to go to bed. Weirdly enough, I don't feel like I've heard the compression artifacts in the music. Maybe at all yet. That's the one thing that I think has sounded correct. Watch out, that place is filled with gas. Also, the floor is electrified. First, destroy the high voltage switch. It's the switchboard on the northwest wall. But how? I can't reach it. Use a remote controlled missile. Ooh, I heard the compression artifacts again when the, the Nikita... Damn! I haven't lost one to that in a while. It feels like there was more slowdown when I turned in this hallway than... Yeah, when that boost fires off, that, that noise is weirdly compressed. Okay, I haven't lost two missiles to that in a long time. That feels weird. Let's do this view so there's less... Ah! Slow down. Damn! I'm getting too tired to be playing this. I haven't lost this many missiles to the... Go, quick. Yeah, explosions are something I'm always hearing that compression on real bad. Ugh. Um, let's get oxygen. God, I can't believe I spent that many missiles on that. way too tired to be playing this. Okay, I can do this fight, though. I don't- I guess I've never talked during a Metal Gear playthrough. 
if you crouch near any in like intentional left their body you can get a camera angle like that okay I'm gonna do these calls because I like them what's this pile of corpses it looks like they were all slashed by some kind of sword couldn't be what nothing snake I'm worried about Emmerich hurry up and get to him oh let's call Meryl Meryl, this pile of corpses. Is this your handiwork? No way. I didn't think so. Who could have done that? You got me, but he must be somewhere up ahead. Then I guess you'll just have to go and find out. I like it. She's like, stop wasting time. Just go play the game, asshole. But yeah, anybody almost will do this. And from, like, different angles, too. Like, each side of them. Kind of cool. I assume most people don't know that. You're that ninja. Stealth camouflage? Who are you? Where is my friend? What? What are you talking about? Oh, what next? Snake. You're that ninja. I've been waiting for you, Snake. Who are you? Neither enemy nor friend. I am back from a world where such words are meaningless. I've removed all obstacles. Now you and I will battle to the death. What do you want? I've waited a long time for this day. Now I Enjoy the moment. What's with these guys? It's like one of my Japanese animes. I've come from another world to do battle with you. What is it, revenge? It is nothing so trivial as revenge. A fight to the death with you. Only in that can my soul find respite. I will kill you. from inside there. I need that man. Keep your hands off him. Now, make me feel it. Make me feel alive again. Good. Now we can fight as warriors. And <coughs> Damn. Damn, that's twice. Basically, I mean, it really works as just like you need to lure him into an area where you have room to dodge and then you can, you know, do it the heck after. It's not hard, I'm just screwing it up. Like 
I'd like to have it happen here, but it's like he's coming at me late. Well, it's funny, as much as I love these games, I've never been one of those people that likes to play them on higher difficulties. I don't think it enhances them at all. And that is something in a lot of games I actually do somewhat enjoy, like added difficulty, hard difficulties. Come on, Phase 2. It's funny, I usually don't play this with headphones. You can tell where he lands by listening. I like that. Damn it! Which is good, because you certainly aren't going to be able to see him in this mess. I need to get a... I took. A, I think I took a screenshot, but just in case I didn't, I want to take a picture of it with my phone, too. Hold on. So I have some Duck Station screenshots. I just want a comparison of, like, him walking up on me. Do you remember me now? Snake. Do you remember me now? Can't be. You were killed in Zanzibar. What? Not a 
again. What's happening? Gray Fox. Colonel, that ninja is Gray Fox. No doubt about it. Ridiculous. You of all people should know he died in Zanzibar. No. He should have died, but he didn't. What? It happened before I joined Foxhound's medical staff. They were using a soldier for their gene therapy experiments. I never heard that. It happened right after you retired. My predecessor, Dr. Clark, was in charge. Dr. Clark? Yes. He started the gene therapy project. And where is he now? He was killed in an explosion in his lab two years ago. So what about this soldier? Apparently, for their test subject, they decided to use the body of a soldier who was recovered after the fall of Zanzibar. And that was Gray Fox. But he was already dead. Yes. But they revived him. They fitted him with a prototype exoskeleton and kept him drugged for four years while they experimented on him like a plaything. Today's genome soldiers were born from those experiments. That's the sickest thing I ever heard. They used him to test all sorts of gene therapy techniques. Naomi, why didn't you tell us about this sooner? Because it's confidential information. Is that the only reason? Naomi, what happened to Gray Fox after that? The record says he died in the explosion. I see. But even if that ninja is Gray Fox, the question is, why? From what I could tell, he didn't know who he was. Are you saying that he's just a mindless robot? I'm not sure, but he seems intent on fighting me to the death. We'll meet again. I know it. So you'll fight again? Until you kill him? Huh. I'd rather not. But maybe that's what he wants. How long are you going to stay in there? Huh? Are you one of them? No, I'm not. I always work alone. Alone? Are you an otaku too? Come on, get out. We can't stay here forever. Your uniform is different than theirs. You're the Metal Gear Chief Engineer, Hal Emmerich, right? You know me? I heard about you from Merrill. Oh, so you're here to rescue me. Sorry, but no. There's something that I've got to do first. Oh, well, at least you're not one of them. Huh, are you hurt? Oh, I'm okay. I just twisted my ankle a little bit trying to get away. Well, if that's all, it's nothing to worry about. I want to ask you something. I need information about Metal Gear. Huh? Metal Gear? Yeah. What's Metal Gear really designed for? It's a mobile TMD. It's designed to shoot down nuclear missiles. Only for defensive purposes, of course. Fire! I already know that Metal Gear is nothing but a nuclear-equipped walking deathmobile. Nuclear? W what are you talking about? The terrorists are planning to use Metal Gear to launch a nuclear missile. You telling me you didn't know? They're gonna put a dismantled warhead into Metal Gear's TMD missile module? Wrong. From the beginning, the purpose of this exercise was to test Metal Gear's nuclear launch capability using a dummy nuclear warhead. The terrorists are just continuing the work you started. No, you're wrong. I heard it directly from your boss, Baker. No. A nuclear missile on Rex? So you really didn't know? No. 
recall, the armament was built by a separate department, and the president personally supervised the final assembly of the main unit. President Baker? Yeah. I was never told exactly what they armed Rex with. I, I only know it's equipped with a Vulcan cannon, a laser, and a railgun. A railgun, you said? Yeah. It uses magnets to fire bullets at extremely high velocities. The technology was originally developed for the SDI system and, and later scrapped. We were successful in miniaturizing it in a joint venture between Arms Tech and Rivermore National Labs. The railgun is on Rex's right arm. Metal Gear's main function is to launch nuclear missiles. You sure you're not forgetting something? It's true that Metal Gear has a missile module on his back that can carry up to eight missiles, but are you saying it was originally meant to carry nuclear missiles? Yeah, but that's not all I think. If Metal Gear fired only standard nuclear missiles, then they should already have all the practical data they need. No. Could it be? Metal Gear's co-developer, Rivermore National Labs, was working on a new type of nuclear weapon. They were using Nova and NIF laser nuclear fusion testing equipment and supercomputers. So they developed a new type of nuclear weapon in a VR testing lab, huh? Yes, but you can't use virtual data on a battlefield. They would need actual launch data. These are some of the supercomputers. If you link these, you can test everything in a virtual environment. But it's all just theoretical. So this exercise was designed to test the real thing. What did our president do? If the terrorists launched that thing... <sighs> Damn. Damn! I'm such a fool. It's all my fault. The truth is, my grandfather was part of the Manhattan Project. He suffered with the guilt for the rest of his life. And my father, he was born on August 6th. 1945. The day of the Hiroshima bomb. God's got a sense of humor, all right. Three generations of Americ men. We must have the curse of nuclear weapons written into our DNA. I used to think that I could use science to help mankind. But the one that wound up getting used was me. Using science to help mankind. It's just in the movies. <laughs> That's enough crying. Pull yourself together. Where is Metal Gear? Where on this base are they keeping it? Rex is in the underground maintenance base. Where is that? North of the communications tower, but it's a long way there. The emergency override system for the detonation code is there, too? Yeah, in the maintenance base control room. You'd better hurry. If they were planning a launch from the start, then their ballistic program is probably finished. And since they haven't called for me in a few hours, they must not need me. In other words, they must be ready to launch. Meryl's got the detonation code override keys. We'll link up with her. If we can't override the launch, we'll have to destroy Rex. I'll show you the way. On that leg of yours, you'll just slow me down. You'll need me if you're gonna destroy Rex. I don't need you. I just need your brain. I created Rex. It's my right, my duty to destroy him. If you get a chance, try to escape. When the coast is clear, I'll contact you by codec. How am I supposed to escape from an island? Uh, okay. So what then? I want you to hide somewhere and keep me informed. You know this place well, don't you? Of course I do. And don't worry, I've got this. Okay, I took a short See, break. I'm gonna end it here. It's like Foxhound way too late. Them, but with this, I'll be fine. Bad leg and all. Good. 
But I want Meryl to watch after you, too. Meryl, the engineer's okay. That's a relief. I want you to look after him. Where are you now? Very close. There she is! Over there! <gasps> oh no! Damn, they've spotted me! <laughs> Meryl, what happened? Something's wrong. Did you hear something? Wasn't that some kind of music? What did she look like? She... She was wearing the same green uniform as the terrorists. A disguise? She has such a cute way of walking. She kind of wiggles her behind. You were really looking. Well, she's got a very cute behind. Way of walking, huh? If she's disguised as the enemy, you'll have to contact her when she's alone, huh? There's only one place where we can be sure she's by herself. Where's that? Don't be so dense. Here, use this security card. It's security level four. You're not in pain, are you? Huh? You feel okay? Nothing bothering you? What's wrong? Getting all friendly all of a sudden. No, nothing. I'm glad you're okay. You're strange. I'm a little nervous. Everyone else I've saved suddenly dies. You're bad luck. Forget it, doctor. Call me Otacon. Otacon? It stands for Otaku Convention. And Otaku's a guy like me who likes Japanimation. Japan was the first country to successfully make bipedal robots. They're still the best in the field of robotics. And Japanese cartoons played some part in that? They did. I didn't get into science to make nuclear weapons, you know. That's what all scientists say. I became a scientist because I wanted to make ro robots like the ones in the Japanese animes. Um... It's true. Just sounds like a childish excuse to me. That had frame loss and skipped. Science has always thrived on war. Jesus Christ. Sixty dollars. Pay up. But that's all over now. I won't take part in murder anymore. Whatever. All I want from you is information. I don't care. I know everything about this whole base. Ask me anything about Rex or about this place. Also, with this stealth camouflage, I can sneak in and out of the armory and mess hall. If you need ammo or rations, just tell me and I'll bring them to you. Does he actually do that? I don't know that offhand. On frequency 141.12. See you later. I'll have to look that up. Can Otacon actually bring you items? I don't think he can, but maybe I don't know something. Okay, let's call Mei Ling and end this bad boy for now. This is normally where I like to stop anyway. I like to play this game in parts. Oh. The, that being fucked up is maybe the most bad. Like, the codec is so iconic. It was such a good way for them to handle having more voice acting and story without having animated cutscenes. And they fucking messed up the noise. It's probably something in how the audio is translated that's crazy. Snake, there's an old Chinese saying, a scholar who cherishes the love of comfort is not fit to be deemed a scholar. Einstein said it another way. He said that only a life lived for others is worth living. That's why I entered MIT instead of Princeton or Vassar like my friends. I wanted to do applied physics, not just a theoretical stuff. I wanted to make things for people. The Soliton radar system or the Kodak system. I just wanted to make something that would be useful for people. I think that it was the same for Dr. Emmerich, too. But he was used like a tool. He was to make a horrible killing machine. Maybe it would be better if engineers like us just stopped making things. I don't know. Yeah, I want to do a playthrough where I talk about this stuff. Because, like, to me, that conversation is interesting. But the concept of, like, I made this codec for people. It's like, well, it's being used by super soldier murdering folk. Okay. 
So how would I close this? By bringing up their menu? Oh. That is unacceptable. <laughs> well, thank you for watching. There'll be more.